It is my privilege to present the following program that was inspired by the way American businesses and organizations have responded to the events of September 11th. It's part of a special series produced by Heartbeat of America called Keeping America Strong. Each program spotlights a business or organization that is helping to do exactly that, keep America strong. Having served in the United States Navy for many years, I fully appreciate the important role small and middle-sized businesses play in the very fabric of our country, and I salute the professionals who lead these companies and thus keep America strong. They are the very backbone of our free enterprise system, and today on this program, you will meet the individuals behind one such organization. I'll be back later in the program to introduce the Keeping America Strong Award. And now, let's learn more about the organization we are honoring today. Today, the eyes and ears of the 21st century are focused on new developments, new technologies, new emerging companies. We're on the scene to bring it to you as it happens. We anchor from our new studios in Los Angeles and then go out all over America to get to the heart of the story. I'm Bert Tenzer. I'm Bella Shaw. I'm Doug Llewellyn. I'm William Shatner, and this is Heartbeat of America. Our show focuses on corporate America, its stories, its drama, its breakthroughs. We'll be going out today to report on an organization that is impacting our lives and shaping our future, an organization that truly is the heartbeat of America. In the 20th century, a group of future Americans led by William Shatner ventured out into the universe. The challenge? To take the American spirit and courage to the final frontier of man, outer space. It was an exciting time on television, but it was only a fantasy. It's the challenge to unite America and to keep our economy and our country moving forward. This has inspired Heartbeat of America to launch a special series entitled Keeping America Strong. In the 20th century, William Shatner took us off on a voyage into the universe to experience what life is like on other planets. But now, here in the 21st century, he is back to explore what life is like right here on our own planet. It's all part of a series that we call Keeping America Strong. And as you know, part of Keeping America Strong lies in protecting corporate America from the threats of intruders and crime. And in today's world, that is one of the major threats businesses face. So... The big question is, what can be done about it? Our guests today are keeping an internet eye on the bad guys. They are making available to businesses a very highly sophisticated security system that is linked by the internet and monitored at a headquarters location. The system not only calls the police and sends them an email with a link so they can watch it, it even talks to the intruders and tells them to get off the property. And that is just a small part of this important story. We're about to hear much more more about it now from our guest who is bringing the latest security technologies to the business world and our guest is the president and CEO of a company called IntelliSight which is headquartered in Mesa Arizona his name is David Lee and I'd like to introduce him now David welcome nice to have you here thank you Doug let me ask you first off uh, a couple of questions of, about what are the big pri uh, problems that companies and businesses face when it comes to security in this day and age, especially, you know, since the advent of 9-11. And I know since then, you know, the criminals have gotten more sophisticated. And I also have heard and understand that, that security systems at companies, for the most part, are often outdated, totally outdated. Is that right? Th that is correct. In, uh, in today and age, like you mentioned, so criminals today, perpetrators today, are definitely more sophisticated. And uh, they know how to go around traditional security methods, whether it's human uh, methods or uh, what we're so used to in closed circuit television. And um, with uh, current technology, it's always after the fact. And uh, with IntelliSight today, we are designed and engineered and we deploy proactive technology where human and technology cooperate on our customers' behalf. Well, I mean, let's explain this. Now, you, you, IntelliSight is a company, you have cameras, yes. obviously, that enable you and others to see what's going on at a specific location. What is the big difference between this system and systems that are already in existence? Everywhere you go these days, you see cameras. You know, you're in a department store, you go to a factory, there are cameras outside, inside. What's, what's new? 
What's due today is the current cameras that we see every time we walk into a shopping mall, a bank, or department store, they're all local and they're all recorded on site and they're all kept on site. Like sophisticated criminals today come in and they understand that, they recognize that. So as they come in, that's the first thing they destroy. That's the first thing that they remove so that they can have the luxury of doing what they need to do. Uh, you, you mean, for example, somebody goes into a, a, you know, a small convenience store. Yes. They see the cameras, and if they're going to do something, if you know, if they're going to hold the store up, they know that the tapes that are recording those images are there at the store, and they're, I gather they're pretty easy to find. Yes, they are. And psh, they smash them, and that's Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Okay. The difference with your system is number one, it's not there, right? The the, the recordings that are being taken could be half a world away, really. You are absolutely correct. We were very redundant in how we uh, provide the service to the customer. We do have the same uh, on-site recording, but for redundancy and backup, in case that they do destroy that, it is uh, uh, stored at a backup facility away from that, on that location anywhere else in the world. In our case, it's stored securely at our data center, where the customer can have that retrieved at any point in time and um, from anywhere in the world. Well, it's, this is really pretty interesting. We, we actually have a little demo that we, can, that we can turn on to show you here because we have a camera on our desk and a couple of laptop computers. Why don't you show me a little bit, David, about exactly what a camera system like this can do? Sure okay. thing. And, and what's interesting is now this, even though there are some wires on the table, this, we're getting an image that's going to go through the, uh, through the Internet, right? That is correct. All the wires that you actually see in its table is providing power to the camera. And uh, pow your laptop is going to have to be adjusted a little bit sure. so our camera can actually see. And I wonder about this one. Let me move, move that over a little bit so it doesn't block the camera. And we're actually getting a picture now we're getting um, of the control room that is in our studio. You're looking really behind where we're sitting right now. That is correct. Those are the monitors back there, and uh, yes. you can see the backs of the heads of the producer and the director who are sitting there. You can, you can actually make this zoom in and out. You can move it around, whatever you, you would like to do, right? Absolutely, and we're doing that right now. And for example, inside a convenience store where IntelliSight actively monitors, where we have uh, personnel that are, would be doing what I'm doing, of course, in a different format and different uh, display, but the, where the proactiveness comes into where we can assess any situation on our customer's behalf and make the call, whether we call non-emergency police, whether we call the customer or on-site security, IntelliSight is assessing the situation in real time. As you can see, what I'm doing here, this is exactly what our people would be doing back at HQ and uh, providing the customer the real-time assessment to any security needs, whether it's a threat or not. And, and the key thing here is that this is all going through the Internet. It's not through telephone wires, not hard connections. It's, it's the Internet. And what is the big advantage of that? Well, with network technology today and going through the Internet, the limitations of having to run cables, establishing uh, cable connectivity is no more. I can have a facility as small as a convenience store or a facility as large as an international airport. The, the, with network technology today, we're able to deploy cameras in practically as far apart as, as we need to or as close as we need to, and scalability is, is an absolute benefit today. In other words, whatever number mm -hmm. of cameras. You could have 400 cameras at a location. Yes, sir. You? Yes, sir, we can. And, and at, your, at your office location, there is somebody there who could actually monitor and visualize every one of these cameras. He could pop from one camera to the other. Explain to me what would happen at, a let's say, a typical location. I mean, well, the average wouldn't have 400 cameras. Uh, maybe if he was at LAX, you know, mm -hmm. or Kennedy Airport in New York. But suppose, for example, there was a, a factory situation. They covered maybe 10 acres, and they had, let's say, 15 cameras somebody's watching and and they see somebody drive on the property on a Sunday afternoon when the facilities closed down what then typically would happen if there's an event that occur we have sophisticated software behind the scenes that number one notifies our people our security team that okay something is happening then <coughs> the human aspect behind the technology comes into play and assesses that information in real time upon that assessment we we determine whether is that a threat 
Is that just an employee? And with this technology, we can have it verified, something called live visual verification, either by the owner, the operations manager, or even better, if we, uh, if we assess that that happens to be a threat, that's when we go online and call local law enforcement and other first responders, allowing them at the same time a live image which they can verify for themselves, allowing officers who respond a clear awareness of the environment that they're entering. And on the other hand, if there were guards, a live guard at the facility, you could contact the guard, he could see this. Absolutely. And, and you could say, go, go check this out. Could Absolutely. You? And he, he can either uh, go check it out physically, or mm -hmm. if, if he is equipped, it's a large facility, 10 acres, right? If he has a mobile device, internet device on his hand, before he even walks or takes, hops on that golf cart for that 10-acre drive, he can see and assess himself on site what's on the other side of the acreage. And not only the exterior of the building, these cameras could be in the interior as well. So if somebody does go inside, you can track their whereabouts and where they're going inside the facility. Absolutely. The benefits of technology today allows any corporation to, to secure their facility both internal and external. Internally, we can go as uh, precise as identifying whether you're still an employee or not today. Interestingly, you also, I mean, not only can, can guards do it and you at your facility, but let's say the president of the company who might be, and let's for, you know, for place sake, say the, the facility is located in, in California and the, the owner is on vacation in Hawaii. He can go on the internet and look at his facility while he's on vacation, can't he? Absolutely. The, the one true benefit of today and, and the available internet technology allows access. And access is so important now. Everybody wants instant access to uh, their business, their home, and their, their entertainment. With IntelliSight, security is fulfilled. And yes, a president of the company can not only log in and see one of his facility, the president of the company can assess his operation from afar multiple locations at one time. You know, you even showed me a picture on your telephone of a facility on the East Coast, and we're on the West Coast. That is correct. Uh, available, again, Internet technology allows you to deliver and broadcast as you wish for the convenience of both the, um, the responder and the people who are uh, performing the alerts. Mm -hmm. What about the fact that you can also talk to the person who is the intruder, you, yes. uh, to tell them to get off the property. How does that work? That's a wonderful tool for our parts and uh, that is something described with internet technology today. It is something called voice over IP. VOIP. Yes, right. VOIP and it allows our uh, uh, monitoring personnel to sit there at the facility and speak over to any location in the world through the same internet connection that allows us to securely uh, view the feeds on, on uh, monitoring the customer's behalf. So in real time, as we assess, say, let's go back to the convenience store, no longer does it require, uh, today's current available and past technology requires you to just act and check the tapes after the fact. In our case, if we some, see something occur, say an intruder walk towards the counter and just something fishy is occurring. Our folks take action by simply going over the voice uh, over IP. Yep. And then deterrence alone, we either question or let them know that they're being monitored by a real live personnel that can call the police at any point in time. We can see what you're doing. Get out. Yeah. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. and, and, and what about police? Could police see that? Police can definitely see that. Most of our customers ask us. That's the first thing we do when we call the police. Yeah. If the police dispatch has email and access to Internet, yeah. we are able to send a direct link for what we call live visual verification officers no longer have to guess what they're about to step foot into. Well, that's pretty fascinating. I mean, this is really a, this is the new dimension, the latest dimension when it comes to security. Yes, it is. And how do you start with a new, with a new customer when, when one calls to, you know, to get information? What do you have to do? Number one, I learn from, from the customers. The first thing that I learn from my customers is exactly what their issue is. What do I need to address? They share all their security concerns, and yeah. the most important things, they share all their failures, their existing uh, solutions that have not uh, supported them well throughout the years. And uh, with that assessment, we come in and suggest uh, a more effective solution, and not only in how we can uh, better secure them, 
but also provide them a cost savings over time based on the technology that we can provide. I'm, I'm, sure, mm -hmm. I'm sure you open their eyes uh, wide. I'm sure they're fascinated by this. Yeah. Well, it's a, it's a fascinating subject, to say the least, and we'll hear more about it in a minute. We're discussing the, uh, the fascinating story of a company called IntelliSight, headquartered in Mesa, Arizona, best described as a leader in network camera and internet-based video surveillance technology. The company, uh, as I say, is headquartered in Arizona. With us, David Lee, the president and CEO of the company. Next to him is Michael Religioso, who is the chief technology officer. And we're also very pleased to be joined now by John Steen, who is the senior account manager for the Axis Company of San Diego, which is the company that manufactures the cameras. It's Am I correct? Axis Communications. Axis That's Communications. Correct. Okay, very good. Let me start off with uh, Michael and ask ask you, as the Chief Technology Officer, obviously you're a key role in the one key part when it comes to installing this kind of system at a facility that becomes your client. How difficult is it, and how sophisticated can you get? It's very simple, Doug. It's basically if if you can get an internet connection, we can deploy to you. Um, compared to having a closed circuit TV um, installation, you have to run analog cable. With an IntelliSite system, you're running off our TCIP. IP. Um, we can run our system wirelessly. So basically, we can deploy a camera system within a couple of hours. So you don't have to, everything doesn't have to be interconnected, does it, or does it? Um, everything is connected through the internet back to our facility. But I mean, so you don't have to run all these wires, no. dig trenches, you know, if it's an outside facility around a factory nope. perimeter. And you can go inside offices, you can go in hallways. Exactly. Go inside, outside, um, you know, even the dead of night. Uh, very large facilities like using our products because um, 50, usually these large acres don't have, like, um, the capability of trenching out like analog cables. Exactly. Um, with our technology, since we utilize wireless uh, technology, we're able to get the signal back to us and we, we're actually able to give a new outlook to our customers that didn't have before. Let me turn to you, John. This is the company that manufactures these cameras. Uh, let me just hold this up again. The camera can get a close look at it. This is exactly what we're talking about. I mean, you know, it really looks like a toy almost. It's so small. But this is a very sophisticated toy, isn't it? That is really a Linux-based computer with, with an Apache web server built in. It is a computer built around a high-tech camera. How, how effective is the camera? What can you do with it? What can you see with this camera? With that particular camera, that camera has 26 times optical zoom, so it's hard to quantify what it can do, but you can see quite a bit of distance. You can see um, up you can to see about a half a mile. This camera is nighttime capable. It is IR sensitive, meaning that you can record video in total darkness if you have enough IR light. It will be black and white, but you can record video in total darkness. But you, all, you, you did mention high definition color to me, or is it not high? Well, HD? you know, that's true. With the network, IP network camera, yeah. we don't have the limitations that you have on an analog camera for resolution. There's NTSC and PAL standards right. that you have to deal with. On an IP network camera, we don't have those lim limitations, and there are megapixel cameras available. That's pretty cool, but it's color. It's full color. Goes black and white when you go to IR at night. Right, right. Um, can zoom in from quite a distance away. Has autofocus capabilities, and this is just one example of several camera options that are available that they, IntelliSight they, uses and integrates to form a complete system. And they rotate totally around. They pan rotate up and down. 360 degrees. Some uh, some cameras they can spend 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You can set them up to go to specific points and stay at a specific point. So the camera itself can perform a guard tour for you. It can go to location A for five seconds, and you can have it spend another seven seconds at location C, and then go back to location B for three seconds, if that's what you'd like the camera to do. That is all internal to the camera, but really what facilitates it is our partners like IntelliSight. I mean, it's, it's what they do with it that it's makes what it they, work. It's what they do with it. It's their background. It's their technical background that they take full advantage. This, these are mini computers. They are intelligence and what, intelligent. And what you're seeing is more intelligence move to the endpoint and security applications. Now, at a facility, this would be covered, though, in a dome or something. So it wouldn't, it wouldn't, you wouldn't see that, would you? It wouldn't show up that clearly. You, mo in most cases, you're absolutely correct. You'd want to cover it. There are vandal-resistant domes to pe keep people from attacking the camera itself. Right, right. Right. Um, it is not, this is not a covert camera. You can hang it without an enclosure, but in most cases it will be. And, and the operator, the guy who can make it twist and turn around and rotate and tilt and pan, again, as I said before, he could be on the other side of the world. Could, could be you, Doug. 
could be me. With a mouse. If you have access, if well, you have access to that network through the internet, you can control it from wherever you're at. That is pretty fascinating. David, let me turn to you and ask you some success stories. You, I mean, the company is, how old is the company, by the way? The company is three years old. It's and, a young uh, company. Yes. But only actively, actively uh, uh, pursuing clients for the past year alone. And, but you do have clients. Oh, absolutely. How, what about some success stories? Well, we've got a very clear one that actually uh, involves an arrest at the end. Uh, take, for example, we have a facility. It's about a five-acre facility that is uh, protected uh, in the past by access control, where somebody comes in, would have to punch in their code, a gate would open, then they can come in and access their um, storage units. Uh, it was also guarded by security guards in the past. Well, one of our success story is after IntelliSight was deployed, one of our folks were able to analyze further what would be considered as a routine or normal event to uh, any average uh, traditional security methods. Right. Uh, two perpetrators entered the facility through uh, a legitimate code. The fence opened, their car entered. Our cameras, of course, notified that as, hey, that's activity, human interaction behind the scenes. Again, common sense. We just looked to assure that everything was okay. But upon that uh, observation, we saw that instead of pulling out keys, pulled out screwdrivers and other uh, tools to try to pry open a, a unit. So upon that, we called uh, non-emergency police. While non-emergency police was arriving, we were able to provide the live visual verification of dispatch so that the officers coming knew exactly where, what to expect, where the, the criminals were, and they were physically apprehended on site with the support of IntelliSight all in real time. That's pretty good. Yes. That obviously proves the effectiveness of this whole system. I'm sure you have other success stories like, you know, like that. Yes. Um, and, and I'm just wondering if there are other places. Uh, there really is no limitation where these systems can go when you come right down to it, is there? No. We, we can adapt. Uh, customized solutions to practically any industry and any verticals out there. You, you, you also mentioned that there are situations where the owner of the company may have, you know, let's say he had a, had a private house or something or a vacation place in some other part of the, the world mm -hmm. that, that you've wired it up for him to be able to watch what's going on there as well. Absolutely. Most of our uh, so-called enterprise clients, when it comes down to uh, more private uh, usage of the technology, Several people have uh, vacation homes from other parts of the world that right. they don't attend right. uh, all the time. And uh, in the past, you either have house sitters or some type of uh, visitation. With IntelliSight, you can have 24-7 access to your vacation home in Florida while you operate and work in San Francisco, California. And the other thing is, this is not a horrendously expensive thing to get involved in, right? No, not at all. Again, because of the Internet and the available access to the Internet, uh, proper usage and, and um, uh, application of such devices and computer technology today just makes it so much more affordable than even two years prior. Well, uh, you know, it's, the news is really exciting. It's, a, it's an, indeed a very amazing story. You are tuned to Heartbeat of America. So stay with us as Heartbeat of America presents its special edition, Keeping America Strong. We're exploring the very intriguing story of a company called IntelliSight, which is headquartered in Mesa, Arizona. It is best described as a leader in network camera and internet-based video surveillance technology. This is the latest in surveillance technology, and we're doing it with David Lee, who's the president and the CEO of the company, and also with us is Michael Religioso, who's the CTO, the chief technology officer. David, let me turn to you and ask you to tell me a little bit about the story of this company and how it came about? About three years ago, the finding of the company was based upon uh, all the prior uh, background and experience in uh, technology application and, uh, of course, all related to the Internet. Uh, we spent um, a good two years in research and development to see how we can utilize current and existing technology to better serve the needs of what's uh, most prominent and calling for post-9-11. Uh, and based on that, we, uh, we founded IntelliSight. After two years of research and development, we actually have applications that uh, physically can be proven out there in the field. And what is your background? My background has, uh, I'm actually a civil engineer by education, yeah. but uh, was, of course, raised and, and 
grew in the uh, internet.com uh, era, so mostly was wireless. I am. Uh, you are wireless. I am wireless. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so with wireless, we uh, take applications from uh, video to audio to uh, data and um, transfer it, everything from cellular to uh, in internet uh, protocol. What do you think the future holds? The, the future for network video is very bright. Um, eventually, you're going to have this kind of technology for everyday use, not only just for surveillance of a property, but you know the same camera you're going to be using to secure a golf course. It could be the same camera to use to critique your golf swing by Golf Pro from uh, you know half across the world. Um, this technology can be applied for any use. It's really kind of unlimited, isn't it? At the moment, this, of course, is geared for business use. Do you ever see this kind of technology becoming available for, you know, the homeowner? Oh, absolutely, Doug. When it comes, it's going to become more readily available and, and affordable in the future. And homeowners, uh, like you said, we're all very familiar with the, with the term nanny cam. Yeah. Uh, with this aspect here, parents now can have the comfort and peace of mind of hiring a professional organization to actually keep watch over their uh, uh, assets and what's important to them in life. And is that some is that a goal of yours? Will the company maybe go in that direction at Absolutely, some point? Sir. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, sir. So what is where do you see this company five years from now? I see this company uh, five years from now providing the utmost uh, uh, security solution for both residential, uh, commercial, and government. And beyond that, beyond security, we see ourselves as providing access and applicational tools that will help uh, uh, daily life become more efficient, whether it's personal needs or business needs. Well, the that's efficiency a fascinating story, mm -hmm. David. Thank you so much for telling us. We have been watching the operations of an organization which is doing its part to keep America strong. And we've been learning from its leaders about what they're doing to help move our country forward. This organization represents companies across our great nation that embody the spirit, dedication, know-how, and can-do attitude which has made America the great nation it is today. And now, let's present the Keeping America Strong Award. Now, it's my honor to present our Keeping America Strong Award to David Lee, the President and CEO of IntelliSight of Mesa, Arizona, for the outstanding work his company is doing, literally, to help keep America strong. David, congratulations and best wishes for continued success. Well, thank you very much, Doug. And uh, this is a great honor, and we're very grateful for the opportunity. And on behalf of IntelliSight and all the hard-working people behind the scenes, we hope to continue keeping America strong. Thank you very much for this honor. Congratulations for earning the Keeping America Strong Award, which honors innovators and leaders like you, who are the heartbeat of America. Our thanks to retired Rear Admiral Kevin Delaney for taking part in the presentation of the Keeping America Strong Award, the award that salutes small to middle-sized organizations who are helping to move America forward. You can find more information about this company on the web at IntelliSite.com. That's it for Heartbeat of America's special edition, Keeping America Strong. Now for a final word from William Shatner. Well, that's it for this edition of Heartbeat of America. I'm William Shatner. Thanks for watching.